Hello, it's Sarah, and I have some happy mail to share today. I got a couple of packages, and I just wanted to share this this one, the first one I got two. Um, Sherry is the other one, my polymer clay buddy, and this one was from Peggy. She's I I talked to both these guys on Messenger quite a bit. Anywho, Peggy. Oh, that's funny. Anywho, see, I said it. Because she sent me this little note. Anyway, um, sent me these beads. And I've been busy making chakra bracelets because um, it's kind of been... It started when I went to yoga with my cousin Fran, and I mentioned it in a previous video. I bought this chakra book, the, shock, the book of chakra healing. And you guys, you know... Google it. But anyway, the chakra, there's seven chakra that they're basically energies inside of us. And I just felt inspired by it. I, I, I researched it a little bit and each chakra corresponds to a different color. And I started to make these mandalas with the colors and the colors themselves are just yummy. And when Peggy saw the video on that, she said, Ooh, I have the beads that correspond to those colors and she's also she also sent me a charm for each of the chakras so there's seven so you start with red that's the root chakra orange yellow green blue indigo and violet and each one corresponds to a different um, Let's see. Let's. See. I don't know what the word would be. Mm, not necessarily a feeling, but a meaning, right? Um, and they and they correspond with your um, endocrine system, so your hormone, your hormones and stuff. So, anywho, um, people work with these with essential oils and meditation and yoga as just a way of getting centered and grounded. And aware so um, anywho she sent me these boy Peggy I do say anywho I think I'm saying anywho more today because you said that in your note <laughs> that was so funny anyway so she sent me about like eight or eight, eight to ten of each of the colors of beads in the semi precious form so citrine amethyst <laughs> lapis lazuli carnelian green adventurine garnet and turquoise and then she sent me a bunch of different charms that are kind of um, Zen and so there's little Buddhas the lotus flower is very representative of the chakra um, and then the ohm symbol I had this little Buddha that I put in there and then this Hamsa hand which is gorge and I think that needs to be embedded in clay. I am definitely thinking about something with clay to to make some tiles with with this in mind. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not I haven't kind of oh and I put these in there myself. This is just the spacer beads that I used on my bracelets. Um, and these are I think they're called Hill Tribe Silver. And I'll I'll zoom in on the bracelets. So she sent me that um, oh, this goes in here. And then I actually went to Michael's to just get the filler bead that I needed, so the rest of the beads for the bracelet. I had some in my stash, but um, I wanted to go see what they had, so I ended up getting... Some of them have names on the packaging, but some didn't. I got... Like, this one's the one I made for Matt. Well, I knew he liked black. It's called black network stone round this is the one I made for me opal pink pink opal this one I had in my stash and I think it's um, lapis I think that's lapis um, that's the leftovers then this one didn't have a name this one was just like I don't know um, it's just a brown like um, and this one was a uh, picture Jasper which I love just very earthy looking so I used those to create the bracelets and then she did mention 
in the bag of the of the garnet it says you might prefer a more red stone and I actually made a couple with the ones that she sent me so I'll compare because I did end up getting this one it doesn't oh it says painted stone quartzite so it's a quartz but then they painted it to make it a little more red and all of the green labels were on sale so I lucked out but you can definitely tell this is the garnet that Peggy sent me and then this is the more red version of the quartzite the painted quartzite and it really kind of almost looks orange on camera but this is a lot more orange um, the orange was called I forget the name of the orange one carnelian anywho I made a few of them I already gave Maddie his and I made his in the black this black kind of spotted looking cool I don't know it's not called anything oh it is black network round stone stone round so I don't know what that means um, but I knew he liked black as an accent I've lived with them long enough and then this one's kind of like again it doesn't really have a name but it's just brown and it's just yummy really earthy looking and then I used the Hill Tribe Silver and I had a few different versions of it I have a real thin one like a braid a thicker one and then a meat up oh, that's a thicker one I think I ran out of the so they're all kind of on the braided side um, and I just and I have one on that I love that I made to match my eye watch so that's a thick one too but I put a couple of the charms on a couple of them. This is the Lotus Flower Charm. And then I think I put an Ohm Charm on one of them. And then in between each of the chakra colors, I just put a little silver bead. So they're just separated enough, but, um, and then there's the little the spacers to kind of separate them out from the rest of the bracelet so I made these bigger and you can the great thing about these is they're just made on a um, elastic cord where is it so this stretch magic cord and you just pre stretch it string your beads tie it in a knot and I put a little drop of um, glossy accents in the knot to just hold the knot and I never have an issue like especially like I and I'm pretty rough but it's so light and it, it, I've never really broken one. I, I, I have to say, like, I'm trying to think. I don't think I've ever broken one. I've only, um, and I used to wear them all the time because they're so simple because you can just slip them over your wrist. And these are all 8 inch because I made them for the boys. And Maddie's fit him perfect. So Peggy, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so happy I made these. And she also sent me a chart, which I'm just going to share. Um, this tells you all the things you need to know about the different colors of the chakra, the different chakra um, positive qualities, the malfunction or deficient, if it's deficient or excessive, and affirmations that have to do with each of them, the scents they have to do with, anything you want to know, um, the essential oil that corresponds to it. So, and then this one too, this is just another um, about the different stones. So the amethyst is for meditation, adventuring, emotional healing, all these different good things. So peridot is for healing, red jasper energy. So I just love that she added that in as well. So thank you so much, Peggy. I'm souped. That's a, that's a weird word, but um, that means I'm very excited. Um, and they're all done. And like I said, Matt has his. I haven't seen Richie yet since I made one, but I'll give him his choice. I made a blue one. A couple of these and then I didn't make them this color but I because I thought it was a little more feminine but I really like it because it kind of just blends in but I'm sure he'll like one of those then all right so that's it thank you Peggy so 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 much I'm so excited then I got a box a big box and I'm just I just took out a few things but this is from Sherry sent me a bunch of little different things different crafty things that she said I could pass on or use if I needed them and so this is just a few of the things lots of little charms and 
beads and buttons and anything that you could embed. These are metal mostly. Actually, those look plastic, so sticker, no, they're not stickers, buttons um, to share with me for that. Then this is chipboard words. Let's see. Is this chipboard? It's kind of like that um, Masonite stuff. Imagine. I can inspire. I can use these in art journaling. Love. Wonderful. Oh, such happiness. Amazing. Explore. Love. And then just some symbols. So like if I were using my um, prompt cards and it said add some chipboard, boom, added, nice. So I got to keep that with my um, art journaling supplies. A book of paper, a little cute, but I love these words again, trendy, beautiful, spread your wings and fly and butterflies, um, really nice clear stamp set, uh, kindness collection. You are loved. I'll stand up for you. You have my loving support. I love this globe. The little people holding hands. We are all one. We're better together. We're all brothers and sisters. Love is love. So these could just be, I could stamp these into clay or just in art journaling. And then this is her um, mosaic that she sent me. Sherry, she's such Look, she's my, what do they call it? My apprentice. My apprentice. She's actually um, been very busy making um, polymer. And then there's tons more in this box, but I just figured um, I would share this. So we've gone back and forth quite a bit on Messenger about different uh, techniques, but I think she's mastered them all. I mean, this is, I'm going to zoom in. There's a lot of my techniques in here, but there's also... Just hers. I mean, I, don't, I guess that's embossed on the clay. These are stickers, I'm pretty sure, that are under a little glass cabochon. This one, too. So these. Oh, here's the opalescent clay that I love. Um, the gold clay. Oh, these are mirrors little pieces of mirror with um, bling glued onto it. So definitely, I definitely see some techniques that I've shared, but Sherry is on her game. She does it, she does it. She's all, oh, stickers, more stickers. This was like, actually that's stamped, but this is, I think, wait, that's stamped. Where was that? This one feels like a sticker. So that's something I never, I never brought into polymer clay was stickers. Yeah, so thank you so much, Sherry. I love it. In the zone, take time to create. So this is all for me, all stuff for me. Create, art, draw, make, practice, play. That's me, play. So I love it. But see her um, composition. Isn't it good? Didn't I teach her well? And then she just used bling around the side. And then inside, let me zoom up because I don't want to. Inside, she said that these, these Statler markers don't work on polymer clay, so she passed them on to me. But, I mean, I could use, or maybe I'll pass these on to Maya. But it looks like they have double, they're double-sided. And Statler, I like these for um, art, uh, not art journaling, for just journaling. Let me see. So look at that. I have to see. I want to see this for a sec. That's my cheat sheet. So a very wide. And then it has. So really nice felt tip markers. A whole bunch of them. Thank you so much, Sherry. You guys, I have enough stuff, just so you know. I love, love, love it. Thank you for very much for thinking of me. But and if I if I can't use it because I think I start need to start to do it, some um, D stashes because I have so much stuff. I need to pass stuff on to you guys too. Um, but this is my uh, my my mixed media mosaic from Sherry.
So thank you guys. Thank you. Bo oh, and I don't know if I showed these. This was something when I got my beads in the clearance section, but look how gorge. This is definitely, I mean, I'm going to zoom in on these. Something that you should get if you like to do mixed media mosaics, look in the clearance section of the jewelry. This was regularly $7.99 and I got it for $2.99, but look I love the mixed metal, so gold and silver, and then there's even gemstones in there. I can't wait. Like, this would be so cool on a mosaic. So you see, you just embed it in the clay, and then it makes a tile for you to add to a different theme or something like this. So, anywho. All right, so I've been playing. I'm so happy. I am considering and thinking about something my theme may have to be toward mandalas because that was another here there's a stamp set in here these are all mandala stamps so i think you could totally make these into polymer clay um tiles and add these to a kind of a chakra theme or just you know ohm style polymer clay project or even mixed media anything anything you want to do so yeah sherry thank you so much and peggy too thank you so much peggy i am loving loving my beads and i think my boys will appreciate them too so um that's it you guys let me zoom up i think i'm gonna work on another stained glass piece because i still have all this stuff out before i put it away i wanted to do a sunshine i think i'm gonna do a sun um, but that's it. Just wanted to share. Thanks for watching.